Good morning, folks. We've got a number of stories to hit today. We've got episode 16 of the Catastrophe Cycle series coming out later. But let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the silence continuing. Filament snap you saw didn't even make it out of the corona. SDO eclipse season continues into its second day. Solar flares are flatlined, and this leaves us focused on the aesthetic wonder. Plasma filament solar tornadoes two to four Earths tall heading over the northwestern limb. The solar wind remains calm, bouncing around quiet levels while up in blue, still no phi angle shift sustained at 180. With the coronal holes definitely turning through center disk today, we've got no less than three days until the solar wind arrives, and physically we must see the phi shift before that. Let's go to the weather. From BC through Edmonton and now into Saskatoon, we've got cold records falling in Canada. The cell is ready to descend into the states right now. In terms of the official climate reports, the national charts are dragging and lagging, but the global December and 2018 total charts are out. Nothing too shocking there with the mix of red and blue. Let's go to the moon, where the orbiter flyover of von Karman Crater, the great magnetic anomaly on the far side, has them certain that this little thing here is the China lander. I mean, obviously, right? Moving on to the ESA's juiciest new plan. They are heading to Jupiter to do a full-scale study of the system, especially Ganymede. This will take close approach research passes to many of the moons and the Jovian monster himself, before settling into an insertion to study the larger-than-Mercury moon called Ganymede. It's got water and its own magnetic field. Kepler-107 as we continue outward. Not a fun place to be at some point in the formation of the system as there was a collision of nascent spheres that they believe is responsible for the observations they are seeing there. Let's zoom in on the large Magellanic Cloud to view some stellar activity. There's a nebulous region within the dwarf galaxy that clearly is left over from a massive star explosion and within that nebula, completely within the optical range of light offered by the Muse Very Large Telescope, the jet light feature is exactly what you think it is. Last but not least, we have videos on this, a chapter in our book, and have given three live presentations on the topic. It doesn't matter if it's a cancer drug, a super solar flare, or 5G. They are pitiful, puny, insignificant jokes to the system which you control. The placebo effect is your thought, your brain waves, overruling the laws of physics and chemistry which would have otherwise operated, allowing you to manifest your own reality. You can be scared of space weather and 5G. I'll use the miniature version of Harp set between my ears to fight back. Episode 16 coming out today. Do not miss it. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now it's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.